Every week, I offer a glimpse of the kind of intelligence assessments that are likely to come across the desk of the President of the United States, modeled on the President's Daily Briefing, or PDB, which the Director of National Intelligence prepares for the President almost daily. Here's this week's briefing. President Trump's threats to close our border and his order to cut U.S. assistance to Central American countries, a pledge he has made before but hasn't followed through on, will undoubtedly create a perfect storm of increased migration flows at our southern border, strained relationships with key partners, and new economic risks for everyday Americans. His actions are also likely perceived globally as a signal that he doesn't care what his own cabinet members have to say. Their ability to protect us going forward is directly undermined. Self reflection is not a look the president wears often, and instead of acknowledging that his current policies aren't working, his reactive move to punish the Northern Triangle countries of Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador will undoubtedly increase migration rather than deter it and will harm U.S. interests in myriad ways. Groundhog and Opposite Day. The president is a creature of habit and routinely casts a wide net of blame for everything that isn't going his way. That has been especially true on border security Democrats Mexico and Central American countries are his predictable punching bags. He checked all three boxes in the last two days when he blasted stupid Democrat-inspired immigration laws, held Mexico responsible for not stopping all undocumented immigrants from entering the U.S., and said he was cutting aid to the Northern Triangle because they haven't done a thing for us. Foreign assistance to these countries is or was determined based on U.S. interests. We have provided it because it benefited our own national security, including combating illegal immigration. We allocate resources for a reason, not because we like or dislike a particular country or leader. Just as he has blamed the same cast of characters for illegal immigration, the president has also habitually undercut his own team, and his decision to cut aid to the Northern Triangle was no different. His own State Department publicly states that its strategy is to provide foreign assistance to Central America and protect American citizens by addressing the security, governance, and economic drivers of illegal immigration and illicit trafficking. The aid again according to Trump's State Department goes toward fighting crime organizations, drug trafficking, gang violence and human trafficking, while strengthening borders and enhancing security. By stopping this aid, The president is directly contradicting his Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and his State Department.